Tracy Hutchins. Let's talk about ghosts. No, not the kind that float around, the kind that disappear. You know, your mother never told you that one day you would be haunted by someone who never called you back, never responded to your text messages. If you've dated any length of time in Metro Atlanta, you know what I'm talking about, ghosting. It's when someone that you've been dating, maybe a few dates here and there, conversations on the phone or maybe online, you think it's going well, all of a sudden it's not going anywhere because you don't hear from them. Crickets. Well, the simple fact is it's happened to a lot of people. More than 80% of millennials say they have been ghosted. You know what? It's happened to me quite a bit, actually. And I will admit, I actually have ghosted a couple of people in my past. But you know what? You might say grow up, be an adult, and tell the person, you know what? It's just not working out. I, I don't really think I'm that into you. The fact is it's happening to the older generation, too. The over 50 crowd, they have been ghosted. And some dating sites that cater to the older generation are playing on that, saying, you know what, have you been ghosted? Get back out there. Get out into that dating field. Get back on the horse. I found for me the best thing was to start a project. Honestly, my house is filled with so many projects that I've started because I was ghosted by someone. Do you have any scary ghosting stories you'd like to share? I'd like to hear them. I'm Tracy Hutchins.